Hey guys, Justin here. Going to show you a quick card control method today to get your spectator's chosen card from wherever you place it in the deck to the top of the deck. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Won't require that much explanation, so here we go. All you do is you get the spectator to choose whatever card they want, in this case, the Seven Diamonds. You put it back in the deck for them, just like so, and just by giving the deck a few cuts, just like that, their card is on top. Very, very simple, very straightforward, but it's always good to know a card control method. So all this is, is get them to pick a card, in this case, three of hearts. When you put it in the back of the deck, what you do is you push it in most of the way, like this. And we'll see if you can do this, but if you push down on the card like so, and then push it in, it will kick up the top part of the cards there, and you'll get a thumb break like this. And then all you do is you come in and you break off a small pack, put it on top, break off another pack, put it on top, just like that, and then their card is on top. So, again, you just get them to pick a card, and when you put it in the deck, wherever you want, push it in most of the way and then you push down on the card you don't have to like bend the card in half, you just push down on it and you can see it's starting to go there and you push it in and you'll automatically get this thumb break just like that and then you can cut as many times as you want I normally cut twice, I'll cut once and then I'll cut twice just like that and their card is on top another thing I normally do is after I do a card control like that I'll always give the deck a quick riffle shuffle too just to you know, make it seem like the deck is in fact mixed up. The riffle shuffle at the end isn't necessary, it's just one of those things that I like to do uh, to just help reinforce in the spectator's mind the deck is all shuffled up. Uh, there's this guy one day, showed him a quick trick, did that card control method, and this was before I started doing the riffle shuffle. He, at the end of the trick, he came up and he said, you know, I think when you put my card in the deck, you just cut it to the top of the deck and that's how you got it to the top. And so ever since he said that, I had started doing the riffle shuffle after the card control. And since then, I haven't had any problems with spectators being like, hey, this is what you did. And uh, yeah, so I would definitely recommend doing that. And that is it for today's video. It was short and quick like I said it would be. I would really appreciate it if you guys would like the video, leave a comment, and then obviously subscribe to my channel. I try to release videos at least once a week, sometimes just two a week, sometimes there's none a week. It depends on my work schedule. My work schedule is shitty. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.